Good morning all, it's the Devious Monkey here on yet another glorious bagel Sunday. It is already 73 degrees. My office is already hot as balls. So yeah, it's one of those days, the first of uh, hopefully many. It's going to be, I predict, 90 degrees out today. As I saw somewhere that the high was supposed to be like 88. It's gonna be 90, which means, woo, smoking hot. And that's good. It is a perfect day. Blue sky, nice breeze, birds are chirping, the lizards are out, they're back, they're sunning in the morning, they just scared the crap out of me. So yeah, but for now, let's go get some tasty bagels. Bagels gotten, let's go eat. Okay kids, decided to just bring the RS, heading to Pleasure House Point right now. It is 85 degrees. It's 1238. Oh, I'm still not used to the lag. Anywho, yeah, I'm gonna go and walk around. I gotta get used to these hotter days, even though it's not gonna be this hot. Today is the only day it's gonna be this warm. It's gonna drop back down to the 60s. This is just a taste of what's coming, and I need to get used to it. The other thing I need to do is get new t-shirts. I've worn these t-shirts like every day for three years. I buy one for every day, and I wear the same thing every day. Not the same outfit, but the, you know, it looks the same. What do they call it? The, uh, the cartoon wardrobe where you're, you know, they basically, so they don't have to draw it all the time. They just wear the same shit. I started doing that in college. I went out and I bought like six pair of the same jeans. And then I bought a package of white t-shirts. And that's all you saw me in every day. And then I had a gray sweatshirt and that's all I wore. And eventually people get used to it. You know, they question it at first, like, are you wearing the same shit as you were wearing yesterday? It's like, no, but I'm wearing the same outfit. Then I don't have to think about it. I've just not always done that, but I started doing it again a few years ago because I just got sick of going out and buying clothes. I hate clothes shopping. And I thought that this would eliminate, uh, hmm, did I wear that? Does this go right? And all that kind of stuff. And I started to find that the, the gothier side of me needed to come back out. So I started buying all this black shit, black hats, no emblem. I don't even put the devious monkey hat on here, you know, like a patch on here. And I found this hat and I have bought so many baseball hats because I love wearing baseball hats. Can't always though, because it messes with my melon and I get a headache, but that's just because I couldn't find the right one. So then I tried this one and it fit perfectly. It's not too tight. It's not too loose. It's not too big. It, it bends right. It's perfect. As soon as I found it, I bought four more. So I've got five of these. Four of them are in plastic bags in my closet so that I don't have to dick around with it. A little insight into the madness of the monkey. So yeah, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous sunny day out. Perfect blue skies, maybe a slight breeze, 85 degrees, I'm all for it. So I'm gonna go take a loop at Pleasure House Point. Then by the time I'm done with that, I should be able to get to three ships before they close because I didn't make it yesterday and get us some bean, and then go into my normal Sunday routine. Let's go to Pleasure House Point and enjoy some nature. Okay, kids. Oh, there goes one. I was just gonna say, I haven't seen anything yet. And then all of a sudden, a uh, great blue heron just sort of flew across over to one of the bird trees. I'd love to say that I'm not talking just to give you the piece of how it sounds out here, but all you can hear is that freaking siren. Okay, given how much nicer it is today, there are a lot more people here. That means the potential for less bird sightings because people are way the hell too noisy and the water's going down. So that means that there should be a little bit more birds hunting on the shorelines. And I can hear lots of birds. I just haven't been able to see them. Not that much out here. I'm hoping things get better when I round the bend. Because over here is where there's usually a, a lot of good hunting, I guess, for smorgasbords for birds. But so far, nothing. Just that one that flew away as I walked up. Okay, I see a couple. One's sort of standing there on the little grassy mini island and one next to it. And they look like yellow crested Night herons, which is cool. Oh yeah, there's another one. Okay, so I was right. There's a bunch of them over here. So, all right, let's see what we can get. So this is something different today. I'm using the A7R4 as usual, 200 to 600. I have it on animal eye autofocus, which usually doesn't do shit for birds. 
and they won't ever update it to give it bird eye autofocus, which is a bummer, but I've got a couple of yellow crusted night herons out here. Oh, he took off. Well, anyways, I'm trying to shoot them and there's, if you can see it, you know, there's just all this like growth coming up. So every once in a while, the eye autofocus is kind of focusing on some of that growth as if it's an eye because you get the tiny little box around it. And a couple of times it actually did focus on the bird's eye, which it hasn't really ever done before. So that's pretty cool. Although it's pretty random. So I don't know how to explain that, but they took off. So onward. Ooh, feels good in the shade. It is very warm and the breeze did pick up again. So that's good. Yeah, the breeze definitely picked up on this side, whereas way back at the beginning, there was almost no breeze at all. So one of the yellow crested night herons flew over here, but when I'm standing along this pathway, it's not really a good spot to get any that are over here because the grass is too high and, and it also goes out too far. So that, that also adds to the grass getting in the way. All right, looks like I got a, well, I can't see it from here, but there is a bird up there in what I call the bird tree. It's another one of the bird trees where they seem to go to bask in the sun. Let's see what I can get. He's a little too far away, and given where he's standing on that tree, the autofocus is getting all the branches instead of the actual bird. That's all right. This is a lot more convenient to carry than the a7 IV. Well, there's another one. Okay, so we got another. It looks like today is the day of the yellow crested night heron because that's all I've seen and there's one sitting over there in one of those ponds and the wind is really picking up over here holy crap and I stand corrected that is not a yellow crested night heron. It is a great blue heron. I can still hear myself mouth breathing. It's not a lot I can do about that since I have the microphone. It has to be mounted up high so it doesn't hit the cotton carrier. So you can hear me take every breath. It's annoying to me, I apologize. Okay, the interesting thing about nature, I noticed years ago, the language that they use. Specifically because I'm always around birds and squirrels squirrels have certain sounds that they make when they're playing when they're calling out to each other or when there's a predator around well i don't see any birds out here i saw a couple of egrets like way way off in the in the distance and one of them started making a sound and then all of a sudden the entire area out here erupted in that same call so it means that they're talking to each other and that there are a shit ton more birds out there that I can't see. And that's kind of very intriguing to me. And it's also kind of frightening because that's why I'm like, I hope there aren't any gators or bears or freaking cougars, coyotes, whatever the hell. Since you know, I don't want to be eaten and shit out of something. So they're hiding. They're not necessarily hiding. They're just not visible to me and my shitty old eyes. Okay, if there's one thing that I knew was gonna to happen today, but that just sort of pushes the point. I need to lose weight and I need to get in better condition. That includes hydrating. This hurts today. It is hot. And as you can hear by my, I'm sure mouth breathing, belabored breathing into this freaking microphone right below me here, I'm out of breath. So I've already had my heart warning thing come up once and tell me that it was pretty high. Now this kind of constricts me a little bit so that has a little bit to do with the blood pressure thing but there's no denying that it's hot as balls out here 
I am not in good condition and I seriously need to drink more water. Not liquid, water. Thank Zeus for this breeze that picked up because that's helping. This is gonna be a quick trip though. I'm not gonna walk the rest of the way all the way around. I'm hot and I wanna make sure I get to three ships today. So, all right, I don't want to sit here and record my mouth breathing while I'm walking. Whew. Okay, kids, it is just oppressively hot and I am definitely, definitely not used to it yet. That was brutal. So, you know, I only did the, you know, the first two thirds. I didn't go all the way around. Like I said, I wasn't going to because I'd probably be laying there face down in the sand. So I got in the car and, and you know, got the windows down and cooled down and drank some water. But I am now heading home to pick up my queen. I managed to coax her to get dressed so that we can go to three ships and get a tasty drink because we'll be there long before they close unless something weird happened. So yeah, gonna go pick her up, drop off my camera gear, and we're gonna go to three ships. Okay kids, a twist in the tail. We just went to three ships and had tasty beverages. Now we're going to the mall to shop for clothes. Well, that was an interesting day. We ended up going to the mall. Mission accomplished for her. I had no need or intention of going to the mall. She did. And we ended up finding her some jeans because that's what she needed. And we just sort of walked around a couple other places and looked at some stuff and all was well. And we ended up uh, impulse buying some stuff on the way out of the bookstore because it's the bookstore. I am whooped. Uh, that heat really took it out of me. And it did get up to 90 like I predicted. And, and it, I definitely felt every degree of that. I need to reacclimate to that for the year because that was brutal. <laughs> I already started laundry. I actually already made dinner and we ate. So that's out of the way too. I mean, it's already a quarter to seven. So as per the norm for the past several weeks now, I'm not doing any day job work on Sundays. And I'm just gonna keep that going today and I'm not gonna stress out about getting anything done. I can do it tomorrow. <laughs> it's been a long fun filled day and that's all I've got for you. So if you have any comments, questions or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.